stand on the brink of Armageddon, but at least we have an irritating student on our side. How reassuring. Sorry, is he having a nervous breakdown? Only I've got a meeting, so if someone can call an ambulance. God has always been eccentric, but I'm beginning to think he's just plain deranged. Well, I suppose all very brilliant men are a little bit unusual, sir. I'm brilliant, Leek. And I'm not the least bit unusual. I'll put armed back up on standby and tell the owners there's been a security scare. They'll have to stay closed as long as it takes. Leek, has the concept of personal space ever been explained to you? Shall I speak to the contractors? No, don't worry. I'll get myself a shovel and a cement mixer and do it myself. Yes, of course you should speak to the contractors, you idiots. <laughs> Daphne and Scrappy will have to take charge of the anomaly operation. You mean us? Unfortunately, yes. So to sum up, then, we're looking for a deadly, skin-shedding aquatic predator with a neat line in Charlotte Church impressions. Well, the marketing possibilities are endless. Exactly what I was going to suggest. Really? Hmm. How terribly reassuring. <laughs> I don't care if it shaved its legs and got a bikini wax. It's on a motorway in broad daylight. Why is everyone telling me facts about mammoths today? Do I look interested? Still, those tusks might be worth a bit. You wouldn't. Ugh. Have a word with them about personal hygiene, would you? Oh, one more thing. Yes. You really are a tiresome little man. Ah, I see. First, I'm a traitor, and now I'm insignificant. You know, you're really going to hurt my feelings. You know, my kids are really pestering me for a pet. If you can't find a home for him. James Lester, Home Office. This is a government facility. What did you think it was, the circus? I'm Professor Nick Cutter. Strangely enough, I hadn't actually forgotten that. Connor. Yes? Put some trousers on. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm going to profoundly regret this. We're flatmates. Why, why, why can't he see us? We are not flatmates. And if I ever find your socks in the bread maker again, you're fired. I think you're sitting in my chair. Captain, would you mind escorting this troublesome man from the building? I'm afraid I can't do that, Mark. What? The minister is an imbecile. He can barely blow his own nose. Do you really think I'm going to let a white hole glove pop it with the IQ of a root vegetable tell me how to do my job? Yes, Captain Becker recorded it, and I sent a copy to Whitehall. Oh, that reminds me. The minister wants to see you. Actually, he did seem a little upset. Christine, I did tell you it wasn't over. You are my hero. And mine. They don't expect any kisses from me. We are my invitation. It was here on the table. Huh? I said, have you seen my invitation? It was just here. Maybe it's in your jacket. What's that noise? What noise? Squeaking noise. Can't hear anything. She's downstairs, isn't she? Yeah. Nice work. Subtle. It's all turned out so well, hasn't it?